Hello, here with Mark Higgins from UMETSAT, and he's going to be talking about the European weather movie for March. So we're starting with the first month of meteorological spring. For meteorological records, we use March as the first month of spring. And what we're starting with in the month was a very changeable weather pattern over Europe. Many of us were experiencing quite spring-like conditions. At the beginning of the month here, you can see a lot of places with low cloud, maybe some fog, and it was a little bit warm. So we were starting to see some of the flowers growing in the garden and starting to be a little bit warm. Towards the beginning of the month, there was some warmer temperatures recorded. You can see, just as we get into the 4th of March, some clearer skies developing over Europe. And you can see the non-moving blue where the snow extent is. If you look very carefully at the northern Caspian Sea, you'll see some of the blue inside the sea. And that'll be ice from the winter season. You might want to look um, both in the Caspian Sea and the Gulf of Bothnia, the northern Baltic seas, to see how the sea ice changes over time during this month. Towards the 6th, just coming into that, some nice warm temperatures. So getting into the low 10s, Denmark recorded 13 degrees coming into spring um, for them. And also the same in northern Germany, northern Poland, northern France. Also with this quite slow moving weather patterns, you'll see different weather events. So you'll see some of that low cloud just being pushed away as the, the weather starts to get a bit more active. And you can just start to see in the Atlantic areas a small low pressure developing that's going to come in and bring precipitation to western parts of Europe. That low pressure just developing the Atlantic now, come the 10th, is going to bring some snow to the UK. Here in Scotland on the 10th, you'll see that eastern flow coming in, bringing much, much colder air, picking up moisture as it travels across the North Sea. And you can start to see that snow build up here on the 11th as you start to see that, that blue being deposited all over the UK. And you can see that shift in the weather pattern. So you've got the easterly flow, weather coming from the east over the UK, but over France, the weather coming from the west. So the UK and France will be experiencing quite different weather at this point. You'll see here, there's been a lot more snowfall over most of Europe. Um, and we were experiencing colder than average temperatures at this particular point. So a lot more snowfall. You can see that blue coming back to the areas of Central Europe over the ground. You'll also see a weather divide between the Alps, Central Europe and Northern Europe here. Southern Alpine weather dominated by the slow passage of the occasional Mediterranean low. So for example, there's one just here, just moving slowly over Southern Italy. And sometimes that will bring uh, some snowfall to the Southern Alps, but most of the Southern Alps was experiencing weather very normal for the, the time of year during this period. You can see here the 16th, the ice in the Baltic very, very clearly. Nice clear skies over the northern Gulf of Bothnia. And you can see just the extent of that sea ice. The low pressure just over the UK at the moment, picking up lots of moisture um, that it's then going to bring over again northern Europe and we'll start to see more snowfalls. Very, very heavy snow um, was reported in southern Denmark over the 18th and 19th at this point. And you can see that here in this weather pattern.
Another low pressure system starting to be seen in the Atlantic here. And that as it develops is going to go and bring some more precipitation over the western parts of Europe. There you go, you can see it here. Much more energetic looking, much faster moving than a lot of the um, systems we've seen over the period. And that bringing a lot of rain um, to northern France, southern UK, and there was a lot of flooding reported in Devon and Cornwall in the UK during this period. The later part of the month, we've got another Mediterranean low just forming here, just traveling over southern Italy. That weather system is actually picking up moisture in the Mediterranean and placing it in um, southern central Europe. So that Mediterranean moisture then becomes snow in southern central Europe. And you'll hopefully be able to see, if there's a clear sky image, you'll see that uh, extent of the snow um, in the days that follow. You can see here at the end of the month, Look again at the sea ice in Bothnia and the Caspian Sea. You'll see there's much less sea ice than there was at the beginning of the month. There's some, um, but it is much, much reduced. Overall, a very, very cold month. Um, a lot colder than your average start to spring. Um, but towards the end of the month, the temperatures were starting to rise just a little.